Hey Bryce, um, good day. So in this video, I am going to answer the questions in section three of your assignment. Um, but before I continue, uh, I will show you uh, how the formulas are created so that um, you will get a you get better an analytical skills in solving uh, these problems. So just like how you were able to uh, uh, solve sections one and two of your assignment quickly because you knew the uh, formula. Yeah, uh, it it would be good as well that you know the 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 how the formula is made in annuities. And I I don't remember explaining to you about annuities. I I don't think we had time. Um, but yeah, in 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 in. The next video, I'll, I'll call it a part two of, of this video. I'll start explaining it. But so far, we are applying uh, this formula right here. Future value of an annuity. All right. So this right here is is actually P is the amount that you um, pay per, per month in annuity. So as you know, an annuity... Uh, works like this where let's say you get a certain number of periods let's say the periods are are these um, sections split up by the lines so at the end of a period you put a deposit that's what the p is and then and then at these period there's an interest going on like at these periods right here all right there's an interest right so so this p will go through an interest and then another p is added at the end of the other period at the end of this period where that we previously did and then another interest happens here and then another payment is done at that end of the period and then another interest happens and then another payment is done at the end of the period that's how it works with annuities right so the first period uh not there's no money because no interest is um there's no money so even though an interest should apply uh, at that period, there's because there's no money, it will you will still not have any money. And that's that's pretty much how annuities work, right? Um, so let's start with this question. Also, by the way, I'll get back to you with the present value, um, but in another video. Okay, so let's start with this question. Let's get right all the parameters here. So we have our annuity at 5.5 percent per annum All right so but it's compounded monthly so then you're you want to have r12 for your new uh for your monthly interest rate i'll just put rm that's which stands for monthly or, or i mean compounded monthly so then you'll have 5.5 divided by 12 uh, percent. So you grab your calculator. That should be... Oh, wrong thing. Okay, calculator. So 5.5. That would be less than 0.5 though. Oh, that should be like maybe 0.4 something. Yeah. Uh, Point four five eight three three three. So it's it's continual. So you just round that off to zero point four five eight three percent. Right. So that's your uh, your interest rate though you you'll use for the monthly compounding. Um. So that's on. And 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 we know that for Trevor, his one starts at 2018. His his period starts at 2018. And then uh, the question is asking uh, when, how much you will get at, how much will Trevor get at 2022? Um, no, actually, the question is asking uh, who oh, after a year later Sam will invest. And then they want to compare who gets the most money at 2022. So you would say Trevor's period is from 2020, 2018 to 2022. So then that means your his period is um, 
uh 18 2018 to 2022 that's four years right four years not written properly um but then we have to because it's compounded monthly so your n should be four times 12 right so n is your period so we're still using that, um, uh, uh, like the, the, this, this, what I'm trying to say is you're, you're actually using like the, the compound interest formula here still. However, this is a shortcut, uh, this formula, which I'll explain in the next video. So basically, uh, what you have here, your N, this is this right here. This is your N. Right, and this right here is the money you pay every month, and the R right here is your interest. So that's that's uh that's what you're gonna substitute them to. Um, I put R M here, but that's that's this R right here, this R. Okay, the R in the formula, I mean. Okay, and it's which is also this R in the denominator. Okay, so now you have everything found. And also it says Trevor invests is 300 per month. So that's your P, right? It's the, instead of having a present value, they call it P because you pay it monthly. But still, it's still like your present value because you, you start with 300. So now you have all these parameters. Um, you have uh, this, and then you have this, and then you have this. Right, so all you need to do now is if you want to find Trevor's, is just to substitute it. Put it in the formula and substitute. So we're going to get the future value of Trevor. All right, I'll put Trevor. So uh, he gets uh, $300 as his, as his payments or P times... Um, one plus the interest rate is zero point four five eight three. Put a parenthesis here and another one here, and then you put your n is forty eight. And you put minus one. All right, and then your R is by the way, this is in percent, so it should be in decimal. Uh, it should be there, should be two zeros here before the point. There you go, All right? So, in decimal, that's it's very important to know to to know to uh label it in decimal or in percentage. So that when it's placed in the calculator, you don't get an error. I'll just clarify this. So just put the, the point there. And then this is zero. And another zero here. Okay. And then in here, it's zero, zero, four, five, eight, three. Okay. So now that's it. I'll, I'll just use this as my brackets. It's quite dirty, actually. I'll just use that then. All right. So this is the future value of Trevor. So you grab your calculator. I'll just use an online calculator. And... Put in the inputs, 300 times 1 plus that, okay. 300 times, uh, I'll have to put two of these. And I'll have to put a fraction here, but there's no fraction here. Okay, that's okay, I'll use, oh, there is one here. 
Oh, wait. Also, if there is one there, then I can put this in the top. And put the rate 0 0.004583. Okay. And then I got one plus the rate. And the index is 48 here to the power of 48 because that's your period. And then, oops, wrong one. Okay. Trying to get rid to get oh here it is. I was trying to get out of the index. No um the cursor I mean. Or yo yeah. Like I was trying to get out of this part so I can go here. Okay, so this is the formula. So you have sixteen thousand sixty five. So this is how much Trevor gets. So he gets sixteen thousand sixty five. 16,065 and 73 cents. Let's round it off. So he gets $16,065.73. And then now let's solve um, Sam. Sam's future value. But before we solve Sam's future value, let's get the parameters for Sam. So, um, so, so what's the rate for Sam? It's it's six percent per annum. So his rate is gonna be six uh, percent divided by twelve because it's compounded monthly as well. So that's gonna be zero point. 5% and in decimal that's 0 0.005 and what is his period well for Sam he starts at 2019 to 2020 and he ends at 2022 so that would be three years really pretty much because he started a year later from Trevor it's three years just like it's four years here so it's it's three years for him, and then because it's compounded monthly, it's multiplied by twelve. So I'll just put three years here so that you can see the formula. So the yeah, like going back to this formula here, so it's three times twelve, we get thirty-six. Because there's thirty-six months in this period. Um uh because it's compounded monthly, you have to times it by twelve. And uh, your payments, the or the payments of Sam is three hundred eighty per month. Okay, so these are the these are his parameters, right? So he's got P as three eighty, and this is his R, and this is his N. All right, so okay, now let's fill it in. I'm just gonna use the green cursor for all of it. Okay, so F B of Sam. So he pays three eighty times this one plus zero point oh oh five minus one and zero point oh oh five in the bottom. So then this gives you, let's put it in the calculator. And his period is three, uh, 36, not 48. Pretty much you can use 48 minus 12, right? It's 36. So he's got four, Sam has 14,947. And seventy two cents. Fourteen thousand nine hundred and forty seven 
and 72 cents. So, who has more? Well, Trevor has more. Trevor has more. You can put this sign. Trevor's final value is greater than Sam's final value. So, by how much? That's the, what the question is asking. So, by how much? Well, you can solve that by subtracting uh, Trevor's, uh, Sam's from Trevor's final value. So, let's do that. So, I'm just going to erase some of this and just look, just rewind the video if you want to have a look. Just so I can write more. Okay. So we now know Trevor's is greater than Sam's. So because Trevor's is greater than Sam's, so if you want to find a difference, then we have to use Trevor's final value. Minus Sam's final value. So it's going to be sixteen oh six five and seventy three cents minus fourteen nine hundred forty seven and seventy two cents. All right, let's get the calculator. Um, wait, I can't. I'll just use the other calculator. This is okay. All right, so it's one six zero six five dot seven three minus one four nine four seven dot seventy two. One six zero six five dot seventy three minus one four nine. Okay, so now you could say the difference is one thousand one hundred twenty and one cents. So that's the difference. So yeah, that's the answer for the first question. One thousand one hundred twenty and one cents. Okay. That's it. All right, so ready for part two? Uh, in part two, I'm going to explain the formula, and then I'll make another video for the other question. See ya.